Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS3Root.com So today we got a um, review of the Cyanogen Mod CM10 Now it's available for uh, many of your dev devices um, including AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, also T-Mobile and also even US Cellular um, So if you've been waiting to install a very solid stable um, total Galaxy Nexus like Jelly Bean ROM. This is the time to do it. Um, this is the M1 version. It's sort of like a acronym for uh, milestone builds. Milestone meaning stable. Um, they will have more of these builds, but this is the first one. It's available for all those variants um, except for the i9300, which should be available pretty soon. But these are official builds from Cyanogen mod team, um, so they should give you a lot better performance um, other than those ports that we've um, seen before. So about phone you will see 4.1.1 um, and uh, CM10, Cyanogen Mod 10. Um, depending on the version you have you should have D2 SPR, D2 TMO, whatever. Um, that's depending on your carrier. Uh, seems pretty solid. I've tested most of the basic stuff like you know wireless, Bluetooth. All of that seems to be working just fine. Um, Hence, they call it M1. Highly recommend it if you don't like TouchWiz at all. Um, certainly, you can just grab an S3 and install CM10, and it makes it into like a Galaxy Nexus, but like two, two to five times faster. Um, great experience indeed. Uh, let's actually go look at some of the cool stuff. Like, uh, if you go to About Phone, and you can verify you ha actually have Jelly Bean um, there, first of all. And uh, look at some of these app switching speed. I mean, flawlessly fast. Um, you're going to love it. And of course, Google Now. San Francisco Giants score. San Francisco Giants score. When you first started up, it might. Um, eh, what the hell? Um, San Francisco Giants score. Let's try that again. San Francisco Giants score. It might, it's probably because I added some words like oh uh, in, in the beginning of it um, that's why weather San Francisco it's 14 degrees and overcast in San Francisco okay San Francisco Niners score the 49ers beat the Packers 30 to 22 okay it's working fine and uh, you know what this is a very solid ROM um, should have everything working out of the box. Of course, don't expect uh, Samsung keys to be working out of the box because uh, that simply will not work on any of the Cyanogen Mod 9, Cyanogen Mod 10, any of these AOSP. They call it AOSP ROMs. Um, here, hold on, let me turn that off. They call it the AOSP ROMs. What is AOSP? Um, it's kind of Android open source project. It just means uh, it's built off the actual Google sources, which CM10 is, and uh, a lot of the AOSP ROMs are. So there's no TouchWiz, any kind of TouchWiz function like I'll share. They're all completely zapped. Um, I think there's actually an app you can get off uh, Play Store for All Share um, Alternative. So uh, it's not for everybody. Definitely not for everybody. But for those of you who want to have the best of the you know, best speeds, best hardware. Certainly Galaxy S3 right now, as of this video, is the fastest phone uh, in the world right now. And also, um, before the Note 2 comes out, which will have a 1.6 gigahertz quad-core processor. Uh, but certainly, you know, putting CM10 is flawless, and also it's an official version. Um, you can get one for your HTC One X also, uh, but it's not official. I don't think they have official version for this. So you're kind of stuck with this ported version uh, sometimes, which might have bugs. Um, but CM10, general, if you haven't used it before, you can actually you know, change the performance here, um, the CPU government, like set CPU. And some of the main features include like the launcher here. You, you can mess with the, um, the home screens, the default screen, all of this stuff. Uh, of course, also drawer and uh, lock screen. You mess with the lock screen. You can display the weather, Yahoo weather, if you wanted to. Um, use a custom location and uh, to choose. Let's do San Francisco. Oop. Uh, da -da. 
and uh, it'll update every hour and also calendar um, displayed next event and you can have a calendar calendar pulling from your Gmail or other other stuff um, and uh, let's see and themes you can download any CM9 CM10 AOKP themes off the Play Store and uh, it'll show up here once you install it and you can change the themes system some more stuff here font size wallpaper hardware keys um, so a little bit of customization if you want to go a little bit farther there should be a, a AOKP ROMs built off this build um, basically AOKP ROMs are basically built off CM9 but gives you additional customizations uh, which is kind of a, one of my favorite ROMs of course CM10 is also my favorite um, but definitely this is a time to install CM10 if you've been uh, waiting to you know turn your phone into a Galaxy Nexus um, the total jelly bean experience buttery smooth experience um, certainly you're gonna get that with the Galaxy S3 so if you have any of the Galaxy S3's AT&T Sprint um, which one is this Verizon here uh, or T-Mobile or if you have a uh, US cellular go ahead and download the M1 for CM10 try it out uh, let me know what you think and if you you know if you just want to try it out uh, before you actually use it you can always make a backup ROM in your um, on your phone and then uh, you know basically do it actually, actually you know what um, I will show you how to do that how to install this flawlessly um, on your phone so first what you'll need to do is uh, copy over the two files is basically the ROM file starting in CM10 blah blah dot zip and also the Google Apps copy it to your internal or your external SD card and then uh, let me show you with this one and then what you will want to do is download uh, ROM manager off Play Store alright and open it and uh, you'll want to flash if you're not a running a clockwork mod recovery off a ROM manager that you flashed um, you will want to flash this one because uh, you might have some assert errors if you use um, some other recoveries and I highly recommend this one so go ahead and flash clockwork mod recovery and then uh, find your Galaxy S3. The one I have is Sprint, so it's going to be Galaxy S3 Sprint. And this will install, this will download, you see the bar, it will download the actual Clockwork My Recovery, the latest one. Make sure you hit Allow, keep watching it. And uh, for some reason, if it gets stuck, just simply reboot it and try it again. Sometimes that happens. Um, and then what you can do is, uh, I'll show you manually, you can also use these. Um, but I find, find manually doing it is the best way. So you've copied those two files over to somewhere in your SD card or internal storage. Reboot into recovery. All right. And this is a fail-proof method. If you follow this method, you'll get it booting every time. Um, but if you just install it, uh, it might not. So let me show you that. So reboot into recovery here. Um, basically do a wipe data factory reset if it's if you're not coming from uh, CM10 already you have to do a wipe data factory reset that's gonna erase all your apps all your settings um, so go ahead and do it and say yes and uh, you know in the future versions you can just do it without to keep your settings and apps and if you wanna save your uh, apps and settings use titanium backup um, to back up your apps uh, use Gmail for contacts and also uh, use SMS text backup app to back up your SMS text backups. Um, SMS text, sorry. And next, what you want to do is go to install zip from SD card and uh, choose zip from SD card or external SD card depending on where you put it. The SD card is actually internal storage and external SD card is your micro SD card. And I think I put it there. So I'm going to choose that. And I put it in my download folder. Actually, I download it straight to my phone. And then I'm going to choose the CM10 blah blah dot zip. Uh, make sure you download the correct one. Well, it will, it will actually not install if you don't download the correct one. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Hit the power button, install the ROM file. This is a CM10. And it will install the ROM pretty quickly here. And, uh,. It's only uh, the good thing about CM10 ROMs. It's only like 150 megabytes um, instead of the normal like seven, eight, nine hundred megabytes on a uh, TouchWiz based ROM because they stripped out everything, so your phone runs faster. Um, I 
I'll be back when this is done. So that's done. Next, you're gonna need to install the G apps. Um, there's two files, and a lot of people just forget the second file. Download the second one. You can install it later too if if you forget. It's not a huge deal. G apps basically stands for Google Apps. Gives you Play Store, Gmail, and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go back to zip from external SD card and go to my download folder, and I'm gonna choose the G apps JB. That stands for G apps Jelly Bean. So that's what I need and uh, I'm gonna install that and this will give me Play Store, uh, Google, Gmail and all that good stuff um, for for this ROM you need to uh, flash it separately because Google sent out a cease and desist letter to Sinoid and Mod Team a couple years back um, they didn't want to ship it with it so hit go back and now here's the important part um, don't reboot alright and do wipe cache partition and basically what this will do is erase all those temporary files that are there um, give you make sure it'll boot and also when that's done go to advanced and go to wipe Dalvik cache and uh, say yes this is also another cache that you want to do now if you don't do this you'll end up in a boot loop and you will have to start this process all over from the beginning what I've noticed um, ge in general with the CM10, the newer Jelly Bean ROMs, is that if you don't wipe cache right after installing, and if you don't do the wipe Dalvik cache, um, it will not boot. And even if you try to reboot into Clockwork My Recovery and do that after installing ROM, um, it will not work. You'll have to install the whole ROM from the beginning, do the data uh, factory resets, um, and then it works fine. Just do it the first time. So I'm going to go to reboot system now and uh, you should be booting all good to go the first time um, you know you know there's a saying I I have a saying that um, you know you always want to do it right the first time it doesn't matter that's why you should take your time and do it right the first time because if you do it once it's gonna be a lot less harder than if you try to do it really fast and then you mess up and you have to do it like five six times you know and then you end up you know spending actually more time doing it so try to really slow down when you install ROMs um, try to really, you know, take it slow, you know, step by step, especially if you're a noob. Um, you know, that'll help you install ROMs faster because uh, that's the way the world works. <laughs> anyway, that is the, uh, also the, um, the new, new, uh, what is it, boot animation. And uh, it looks pretty cool. And uh, I've been, I've been flashing, you know, on and off the nightlies, but uh, definitely the M1 is, you know, Definitely a go and definitely a great time to flash right now because all of those night nightlies were basically, you know, uh, filled with bugs. So once you get to this point, you're all good to go. So go ahead and sign in. Um, go ahead and use Titanium Backup app to restore your apps. Um, go ahead and sign in to your Gmail and your, um, your contacts will restore. Go ahead and use uh, SMS Text Backup app to restore all your SMS texts. Um, as far as some other settings, you might have to do that manually. There's also other ways to back it up and restore it, but I don't really recommend it because a lot of the times um, it can actually mess you up even more. Um, but, you know, get your apps and start things working. Anyway, that was uh, uh, just a quick overview of CM10 M1 version for all your US Galaxy S3s. And also, you can install it on your uh, Canadian versions if you have the i7. Uh, any models starting in i717M, um, go ahead and try to use the the uh, one for AT&T, um, and you should be all good to go. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, and if you have a Galaxy S3, any of the Galaxy S3s, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, root galaxy. No, not root like <laughs> Galaxy S3 root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Um, subscribe button up there. And uh, I have all I have a new channel for all the Galaxy S3s. Um, if you want to stay up uh, updated on the latest, latest stuff, um, go ahead and subscribe to my new channel, uh, youtube.com slash Galaxy S3 Root. Um, that way I'm going to put all of the, you know, all everything Galaxy S3 related there. So go ahead and sign up for that um, if you have a Galaxy S3 because on this channel I'm going to upload different things and, you know, I'm only going to try to update you with the important stuff uh, versus the, the channels. I'll update more often with the, 
everything related with the Galaxy S3. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Stay high on Android, and uh, yeah, we'll see you later.